you're starting to get physical in your body and your body's recovering, so that's taxing, it's gonna be terrifying to, to give that nudge to your body. How do you, how do you help patients understand what's a good push and what's a bad one? Well, it's very progressive. So they would come in twice a week for six months and initially what would happen is they they might walk for two minutes and they might ride a stationary bike for two minutes. And for some, there's a lot of machismo behind it and they're like, oh, I can do way more because they want to prove that I'm fine and it was no big deal, right? And and, and I don't want to always say it was guys because there's oftentimes some, some females that are, you know, it's just a, a personality thing that I, I want to prove that I am 100% okay right now. And so they want to prove it to us. And are, are you saying women are stubborn? Uh, every, uh, everybody's stubborn. I'm stubborn. <laughs> we're, we're, it's, it's not a bad trait um, because those are those generally are the successful ones. But oftentimes you have to rein them back in yes. uh, because they don't understand. They don't understand the damage that has been done uh, because sometimes they don't feel as bad as, as some others, right? Maybe their pain tolerance is a little higher, or, or where the damage was done within within the system. But it's a progression, and it's getting people to understand that we want them to succeed. Uh, we want to educate them as well as rehabilitate them. So it's not about us screaming at them and saying, go faster and you know, suck it up. It's about us saying, hey, what are you capable of? We're gonna put you there, we're gonna slowly progress you, and we're gonna nudge you, but we're not gonna do it um, we're not going to do it in an unsafe manner. I always say, hey, I, I don't want to fill out an incident report. So, you know, we're going to make sure that this is this is all well and good and we're and we're all on the same page and, and it's a team uh, atmosphere as well. So if they're not invested in it, if, if they just feel they're being talked to, nobody wants that, right? So if they feel that as a team, we're working together to come up with the best health outcomes for them, um, then generally that, that eases the fear. It's, it's not being their best buddy, but it's not being a dictator to them either.